Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to be here today. We're gonna do weird stuff. It seems a cool guy and it's genius, you see? And I'm inspired by this one. So all that, coming up. Hi again, this is Dyson. So let's begin. I saw this presentation last week, I guess. I don't know. And uh, he called a rich lord. It seems a cool guy and it's genius. You see this work of him and this is a weird creature he created. It's awesome, honestly. And I inspired by this one. So as you can see, he did that with the bullet solver or RBD solver and I guess RBD emit to emit this sphere, I guess. And lot of VEX involving as you can see. So I thought to myself, how can I achieve that in simple or fastest way? So then I have this idea develop, it's the best alternative with this one. So I did that with the Vellum. So before we begin, if you enjoy this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and let's do it with Vellum. Okay, let's begin with one sphere here. I want to demonstrate that. I want to simplify the idea first. Now let's create Vellum constraint tetrahedral, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that's our constra uh, sorry constraint, the soft body, and this is the vellum solver. Okay, let's enable the gravity, and let's bring these bad boys up a little bit. Cool, and let's play and see what we have. So, that's our soft body simulation. Now, let's create a curve here. Okay, let's pretend this curve is the hand of this cute creature okay you see that and let's go here and f let's yes yeah, smooth that little bit okay that's cool now let's create a vellum hair configuration or constraint here and now let's uh, pack this vellum where are you okay in order to merge these guys together we need to pack them and let's lay down a merge node here cool that's lovely and now let's unpack this data nice and let's connect the constraint and the geometry and let's play and see what we have okay great nothing i guess something is wrong here Okay, what is this maybe let's resample that we need more point of course and let's play okay wow what's happening oh oh my god that's silly of me this connection is what's wrong the constraint now it's okay you see that we have the hairs and the soft body that's cool for the start Okay, now I need to drag this here. I guess uh, I will use the constraint of attach to geometry here, to the hair. Okay, now let me create a sphere. For example, you can create any object, but I wanna uh, use this sphere to pull this hair or this uh, line here okay let's go there and let's make it smaller and yeah you see that all these points are connected let's choose the, the the beginning point the point and hit enter you see this point it's only connected to this object okay you see that and now let's play and see what we have you see our hair it's attached to this geometry the sphere now uh, for validation we can create transform and animate uh, this 
sphere for example okay I want to show you this attachment is okay you see that's cool this sphere is pulling our line here so let's bring the density or the mass of this sphere you see we are pulling the sphere here that's cool for the uh, beginning let's make that heavier this line and you see that okay now we have an issue I guess the line is disconnected or the attach from the sphere that's because uh, we need to create a glue constraint in the vellum solver here you see that we're gonna glue the points because the line is intersect with our sphere so we're gonna glue them and yeah let's see okay I guess the problem is solved that's lovely you see that okay now for more procedural way I want to delete this attached to string that sphere and I want to animate or take control of this first uh, point of the lines here let me show you what I mean here let me see you see that I want to take control of this point for that you see that point okay and I want to uh, apply a force to this point instead of animated uh, by hand so first let's create a group point to group and let's select them okay now that's okay we have them let's go here and let's lay down a pop force for example where are you pop force great and let's have a, a force you see now this one the z-axis okay every point are uh, affected by this uh, pop force but we can select our group here and you see that nothing happened because we need to increase this pop force and yeah you see this point are uh, affected by pop force okay you get the idea we are applying force just with this uh, to this point that's a nice approach and let's see what we have you see that this uh, force is constant it's always enabled I want to I want to be a variation for this activation uh, parameter okay for that I want to use this expression dollar frame percentage sign 10 equal to 0 that's mean if I divide current frame for example 1 or 10 or 20 by 10 divide that current frame by 10 and the reminder if zero so that phrase will be true true means one false we uh, means zero so you see every 10 frame every 10 frame will trigger that uh, pop force you see that that's a useful expression i use it a lot okay let me increase the pop force here you see that every 10 frame it will trigger that okay this is the final version by the way this is available on my patreon you see this is this whole scene here let's begin I guess with this section first I load my geometry the brain it's uh, cool brain and I clean that via VDB because if I don't uh, I will uh, get uh, this error topology here so I clean that and I have a soft body constraint tetrahedral I guess and after that I pack this geometry and I drew this curve here uh, represent two hands I don't know this is weird hand I guess and then the hair constraint and a first group the point and I messed that mess out with this uh, mass attribute 
I want to see that and I create this hand group after that I create this copy to point to copy this brain by this you see this uh, circle and let me disable that I want to show you something cool here and that's true I guess okay you see if I copy that the direction is not right I want to uh, towards him to that centers look that uh, towards the center so for that I use this polyframe because polyframe will give me uh, this tangent uh, attribute vector by this option the center you see that it's uh, cool and I will uh, make this tangent to the normal and and after that you see I will copy I will copy this brain you see that all these are looking to the center and then I have this uh, point jitter to have uh, some variation and some transferring so let me show you here and I have this big brain as a collider and with that let me show you the flip book okay until that we have this simulation you see these hands uh, animation this driven by a pop force and expression let me show you let's dive in you see first I have this glue that's okay and I have this expression we talked about earlier and you see that's nice and instead I have this pop attractive to attract to the center of this scene that's mean our brain let me delete this one I guess I don't need that okay this pop tract are uh, driven by uh, the same expression uh, and I split that uh, the hand so I create a curve node or curve node you see that and I animate the growth here let me show you this is calculating okay I have this growth and I resample that of course and I randomize the p-scale and I have this sphere to this point okay and on the other hand I have uh, this section I want to tip or the first point of the uh, these hands you see I want to have a big sphere to that let me show you I, I use this for uh, for each loop you see I have this sphere okay let's merge it to see it better see that and that's what I needed okay and of course I merge it with the big brain and you see this section VDB you can enable that for those who are playing with this scene and you have cool uh, connectivity of the geometry by this VDB I love it so all that is available on my Patreon and this is the result I guess I love this one and with that have a good day goodbye